Hey guys, what's up y'all? This is Sheila in the hills of Virginia and today I was going to let you see what I'm doing over here. I got to taste me and my friend. We got to taste for pasta today. So I got some pasta going on right right here. Got to keep my eye on it because then you don't want it to get too fat. You kind of want to have just a little bit of firmness to it. But it looks like it's getting ready. Time to come out. I've already chopped up my stuff. See there? It's black olives, some celery. I really need some more celery. And some onions. Then we got the mayo over here. Mister's making some tea back there. And I don't know what he's doing now. What are you doing? Hey, Mr. Cat. You want to say, you want to say put a little cat food in your pasta. No, I'm not. Yeah, Mister, good. you want to say hello? Hey. Yeah, he's busy right now. But my friend and I, what I was telling you, told you we we're going to do puzzles. So we started this puzzle. We'll be probably working on it this afternoon. But uh, this is the puzzle right here. Can y'all see that really good? Okay, so now look over here. And this is what we've got. We've been watching some of uh, my old videos. And uh, she's been sitting over here just to laugh, and she just got up. But um, anyway, I sit right there. She sits right here. Of course, y'all see possum over there. But, you know, there she is. Hey, Bertram. Hey, everybody. So we I'm love. I'm making my seat over here so I, I, I can see it. I, I got to tell y'all something's pretty funny. <laughs> Yesterday, she was sitting on this side right here. And so... She was going to get up. I either looked for some more puzzle pieces or I, I really don't know what it was. Well, next thing I know, that chair went backwards <laughs> and she was down in the floor. I'm going to oh. tell you, she was. Oh, it was <laughs> it, me and Mr. was kind of scared of going, are you all right? Are you all right? Are you all right? And then she said, well, she, and he was going to help her up. And she goes, no. She said, I got to get up by myself. I wish I had videoed that lot, y'all. Y'all been laughing y'all's butts off. I ain't never seen nobody get up like that before. Well, I had to get up like that. That's... I mean, it was hilarious. Of course, I was on the back side of her. So you can't imagine what, what side I had. And uh, her trying to get up off that floor. Yeah, Lee. I just taste it. If you wonder why I'm talking so funny. It's not done yet. Need a little bit more. It's still kind of... Chewy like so no we don't do that. But anyway. Well, see that kind of took me by surprise because I'm not a puzzler. Sheila and a Lady B, they're puzzlers. So next thing I know, Lady B's rolling on the floor. I said, is this part of puzzling? You gotta you gotta get on the floor and roll? Ah, I, I took me totally by surprise. Come to find out, you don't have to. You don't have to roll on the floor to do a puzzle. No. That was just something she threw in. And, and speaking of rolling, y'all remember my, one of them last videos I told you about when you were younger, how you get them little buzz, and you just touch them, and then they roll up in the ball, and you kind of go, uh, uh, like that, and they roll. I did. I felt like I touched her. She started rolling, rolling in the living room. But yeah, I was on the back side of her when she was getting up. I went, Lord have mercy. <laughs> I said, you need some help? Her legs were spread apart. Straight up in there. I mean, <laughs> spread apart, her trying to get up. And I was going, she was about to do a split just trying to get up. I ain't never seen such. Well, anyway, that's her. That's my friend. We've been friends since I was 11 years old, since Mutt was a pup, like I always say. <laughs> anyway, she and I, I always, no matter where we go, there's always, always, always an adventure. Always. Always. And I mean always. Not once upon a time. Or, it's like you know, always me. Always. <laughs> and let me tell you. She and I have our own. Now, y'all know when I'm on here, sometimes I can't pronounce things. And I go, y'all know what I mean. Well, I have to help her out. I thought I was bad. <laughs> she was telling me a story. I told Trisha, her daughter, I said, you need to write all this down. Because we can't remember it all. And you know how people say, you know what? 
I was looking at the neighbor over there and they were acting really suspicious. You know, suspicious. Suspicious. Well, she says suspicious. Well, that was really suspicious. I'm going to tell you it was suspicious. So, I mean, of course, I know what she's meaning because I have trouble sometimes myself. So we kind of help fill in the blanks. Well, you she finish I. my sentences sometimes. Yeah, I, fi I finish her sentences. And her husband, oh, I know. I bet she can write a book on the words that she comes out. I mean, she makes her own vocabulary. <laughs> That's true. That but uh, but the, the sad thing about it is I know what she's saying. Oh, now, what's that say? Well, anyway, well, let me go check because these things, let's go over here. Let's go over here and look again. I think they're about, it's about done because she ate some noodles yesterday, but I, oh yeah, I don't like them get too plumpy, guys. I don't like them too plumpy. Um, so if I don't hurry up and get, oh y'all, if I don't hurry up and get this out, it's just going to be too, I don't want it mushy. That's my thing. So I take out a little bit right here and then I taste it. And I can tell. Let's see. Oop. Yeah, just done. All right. I need both hands, so let me get off of here. I'll be back. Got to put all this stuff in it. And uh, I, you got to cut. Yeah, the colander's over there. So I'll be back. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Hey, good morning. It's another day. Mister's still out there. He was getting in the car. He's going, going, going. You know, go down to the city. So, uh, some special something. He's going to look down there. Anyway, I'm going to zizzy this morning. Anyhow, I'm getting ready to uh, jump in the shower. I ain't taking it out with me. But I'm going to jump in the shower and try to get spruced up a little bit. I ain't putting no makeup on. I might put some face lotion on because my face is like, if I don't. But anyway, I'm going to do that. This is just kind of a hangout day with me. I have no clue, none whatsoever, what I'm going to talk about with you guys. I guess whatever hits my spirit at the time. Um, Mr. asked me what I'm going to do. I went, I don't know. Anyway, let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get in the shower and get that over with. Sometimes, don't you know... And y'all feel this way sometimes. I like taking showers. I like staying clean. I like a lot of bird baths too. But sometimes it's just a chore. Because then you got to dry your hair and stuff. It's like, I know that sounds bad, don't it? Well, it's the truth. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower. It's just a hangout day with Sheila and Mr. if he gets back in time. Anyhow, let me go ahead and do that, and I'll meet y'all back here after my shower. Okay, just got done with my shower, got myself dressed, and now my face, in fact, my ears, I know it's probably not a really kosher thing to be, but my ears are wet, so I'm just going to kind of dry them out just a little bit, and uh, my ears are always usually clean, I ain't going to show you, but my ears are usually always clean, but um, just got to get that water out because it's going <laughs> anyhow so I just got out of the shower like I said and um, I got to put on some lotion I was going to show you guys that this time around I bought some um, I can't read without my glasses it's uh, L'Oreal collagen moisture feeler something hydrant I can't read without my glasses but anyway that's it if you can see it so I noticed that I used this one last time and this is a wrinkle wrinkle expert or something if y'all can read that it's okay I mean you know but this one boy what a difference I, this is probably about my fourth day of using it and, um, ooh, I've got too much. Fourth day, use it, and I can tell a doggone big difference. Get up under my. Oh, uh, after I put it on, you can even see my face turns kind of pinky. It's moisturized it, and now I feel like I can move my lips and smile and stuff. Um, uh, with this, uh, 
collagen stuff. I'm hoping that, you know, it's going to help me. I mean, come on. Let's get real. Let me, I can't see y'all. Oh, there you are. Come on, let's get real. We get old. And things happen. You know, our hair turns gray. And we get wrinkles. And we try to help out as much as we can to cause those wrinkles from coming so fast and on our neck and stuff. But it happens. It's getting old. And I can't keep my glasses on. i got to go have them adjusted. But anyhow, i got to brush my teeth. I'm going to do that. But getting back to getting old. Yeah, Mr. and I was talking about it this morning. What was it? It was something that was on TV. And... You know, for the life of me, I cannot remember now. That's another thing about getting old. But anyway, I um, I'm pushing my pushing my toothpaste up with my toothbrush to get it off. Cause I like to push from the bottom and uh, on up. Oh, there it is. Uh, there again, it was something that was on TV. Maybe it was a commercial. There was some comment that was made about it, and I said, it was nails. That's what it was. Somebody was showing their nails. If y'all get nails, I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm just happy as I can be. But this is my nails. You see that? I don't polish them. My own preference. I don't let them grow out. My own preference. Because Sheila can't do things if I've got... First off, you've got nail polish on there. It chips off. You chip it or something if you're doing something, like me with crafts or whatever, and they get too long. I can't type well. I can't pick up things well. So why get them? So I think it's, don't y'all get mad at me. I think it's just vanity because Mr. and I was talking about it, and then he started talking about it. From a man's point of view, he said, you know, I don't know how the ladies do that because you really can't do much with them. He says, I guess it's just, you know, like to, if their man uh, wants them to have nails, yeah, we're here to please our husbands and stuff like that. But I think it's just gotten out of control. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's gotten out of hand. And when I say that, this is Sheilaology here. Man, I'm getting on a roll this morning. I didn't want to do that. I got to take my medicine too. I get all worked up. I'm gonna go take my medicine. But anyway, it's like, like all those actors and actresses. Is there anybody out there real that's wearing their own stuff? Like right here. I don't have no fake nothing. I don't have makeup on you. Well, like my pastor said, well, even the barn looks better painted. But but, let me get to the, the really point I'm trying to put out there, is that I think this is kind of a man's world and everything's done, you know, for him. And I believe in pleasing your husband and stuff. Yes, I do. But, 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 let me get to it. There's f uh, fake eyelashes now. And now, they used to start out with a little bit, so it looks like, you know, they got eyelashes. I understand that, especially if you have chemotherapy and stuff, and you ain't got no eyelashes. But now they got where well, they used to be like this. Now they're like, oh, come on! Nobody knows if nobody walks around with eyelashes like that. I mean, long. They stick out there. <laughs> or they got their lips. Now they got collagen stuff in them. So they look like this. Now they're going to go, they will walk around and look like this. And then, you know, up here, you know what I mean. And now, why do you want to get that? Why do you want to look around, walk around like this? You can't do nothing. You can't hardly run. You can't hardly work. You can't hardly bend over to do anything because they're in the way. Why? Then they got Botox all over everywhere. What else? Oh, then they got the rear end lifts. Y'all get my drift. 
Now, God bless you if y'all have done that. But Sheila here, not. I'm up here in the hills of Virginia. And I gotta be able to type, I gotta be able to do things with my hands, get in the dirt, do the garden. I don't like having to put on makeup every day. I mean, I just don't. I will if it's a special occasion. But some of these women don't even go out of the house till they got their whole face on. If they want to go take the garbage out to the to the curbside, they got to put on the whole makeup because they don't want anybody to see them. Well, you know what? The Bible says beauty is vain. And, you know, sometimes you got all this, they think they're so beautiful. I say, what you think most of the time they are? But then when you get down to this part of it, they're ugly people. This is what makes you beautiful, what's in here. The heart. Affairs of the heart. Issues of the heart. Well, I'm on the roll. Let me brush my teethies. And, uh, anyway, that's stuff me and him were talking about. And, uh, I said, Mr. I'm sorry, I don't do that. Now, I'll paint my, my toes when I wear sandals. I mean, my toes don't get there and do work, wash dishes and stuff like that. So, I wear sandals. So I go, oh, okay, put some, put some fingernail polish on them. And, um, anyway. And the mister says, well, they probably do all this. And then they got nails that come way out here. He's that probably like a secretary or something. Well, excuse me very much. Excuse me. How are you going to type? Well, you can do it like this. And you got to go. You know what I mean? And they got the, and how you on phone? Rent and, and dial it. You know, you, you, me, I, <laughs> but then, you know, people with them, they go, that's just Sheilaology. That's just Sheila. But anyway, which we'll sees what you get here. It's just hanging out with Sheila day. I'm looking over there. The cat box looks decent day. Y'all know I don't like to do the cat box. Cat box looks decent. I did it yesterday. Seemed like she hadn't had any um, urgencies to get in the cat box. So, um, I haven't eaten anything. I need to go in here. Come on. The bed's kind of spruce. Mister did that. Let's look. That looks pretty good down there, don't it? Well, anyway. I got my clothes down here. Where is it? Yeah, my old shirt and stuff. Oop, I had on. So I'm gonna pick that up and uh and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna take it ooh every time I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it in the um I usually just put it in the wash machine. Come on through, come on through. I usually just put it in the wash machine because you know uh, I mean I take my whites and put them throw them in the basket. Now y'all know sometimes I wash the whites with the colors because it's so few of them. Oop, there's so few of them that, oh, I, I left, <laughs> while I was telling y'all about that, look who I left outside. Ain't that pitiful? Oh, man. Is he cold? I bet he is. It's only like 20-some degrees. I'm sorry, Sammy. I got to run in my, my mouth. <sighs> so I got to go put these, uh, what I was saying, in the wash machine. And I get mess of which he didn't do. I'll just show you. But y'all can see in there. I'm only going to be in there in a second. But y'all see them clothes right there? Can y'all see them? He didn't throw them in the wash machine. I told him, so just go on throw them in the wash machine. Like I'm getting ready to do. Oh, that's a blanket. Where'd that come from? Not a blanket. It's a beach towel. Throw that in there. All right, well, since I'm here, since I'm 
Let me go ahead and just get this started real quick. And uh oh my goodness. I forgot that I ran out in that other container, so I gotta open this one. Oh no, my my cap went down here. Here it is. Okay. Ugh. Anyway, might as well go on through the clothes since I'm standing right here, right? And I remember you guys said, because yeah, I always try to get all that, uh, y'all can't even see me, all that blue stuff out. So I just throw it in your wash. I don't know why. As old as I am, I should have known that. All right. Now that's going. So I got that done. I need to get me some tea. And um, because I gotta take my, my medicine this morning. And uh, I really like to get off of that. I've been looking on Amazon and looking at some alternatives. Uh you know, just to have around the house. And in case, you know, we get a little infection or something. There is some stuff somebody told me about, so I'm going to look that up. Well, I did. I already looked it up yesterday. I put it in my cart. And um, so I've got to put an order in today, let it go ahead and go on through so I can get that delivered. Mr. and I also went to uh, another uh, city that's close by. It's kind of a little bit bigger than ours. But we went there because we don't have an Aldi here. And, oh. I was almost making that noise. Got a got a pot of green beans on cooking, but we went to Aldi so I could stock up on some more um, canned goods, and they seem to be well. Let me back up. There's some things that are uh, like the green beans. I think the green beans uh, per can was 50 cents. The corn uh, I think was 50 or 58 cents. Don't hold me to it, but you know, it was still reasonable compared to some of the other places. And now uh, the carrots and other canned goods have gone up. Um, so I did get some green beans and I got some sauerkraut, you know, because that helps your stomach and stuff. Um, we're just kind of, every time we go to the store or we go into a town, I try to stop and, and kind of stock up a little bit, if you guys know what I mean. I don't know what's going on with this bank banking stuff. I don't want to get into politics or anything like that. Because everybody has their opinion and their ways of belief. But I'm telling you, scary, ain't it? Whew. Anyway, so I told Mr. I said, let's go on down there. Let's go and stock up on some things. And there was other things that we bought, like some toilet paper and stuff like that. Uh, we put in our pantry. But... Uh, supply pantry anyway I think it would behoove you if maybe y'all did think about that kind of stuff I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and like I've told you and I told mister and I told somebody else recently and I said I'm not trying to make anybody believe what I believe and I've said this to you guys and I said but they go well God's going to take care of me the Bible says he's going to take care of me Yes, I believe that, but I also believe that he gives you wisdom to help take care of you, that you use your noggin, look around, I mean other things he'll tell you what you need to do, so who was it that asked for wisdom, they, they didn't care about anything else, the only thing that they, that they uh, prayed for was wisdom. Why is that? So, I just said to them, I said, well, I believe God gives us wisdom. And, I mean, why would he give you wisdom? What's the purpose of the wisdom? So, I believe that he's given this family here wisdom to go and stock up on some things. And, uh, and like I always told you, if nothing happens, well, that's all right. That's good. But you know what? I ain't got to go to the grocery store maybe for a month. 
because I got stuff. So, what does it hurt? Ruby said, sorry, if you know what I mean. But if you believe the other way, that's good. That's fine. But that's what we do. So I'm looking for some, uh, getting back some antibiotics or something comparable to antibiotics and, you know, maybe some ibuprofen and you know, things like that, band-aids. So that's what this house is doing. Okay. So that was yesterday. Mr. is going downtown because um, he's going to look for something. I think that he might be going by one of the stores that we saw some uh, mechanics of an oil. I have two oil lamps. And so I've ordered the um, oil paraffin to go into the two oil lamps. Uh, they're colorless, they're smokeless, and they're odorless. So if our electricity should go up, remember, still, we're up here in the mountains. I mean, we got ice and snow, and if our power should go out, I won't have something I can look, I can you know, see by. So I told him, let's go ahead and do that. So um, we, we uh, he's going to look for some wicks, and then one of them, you know, where you, you, you uh, wind the wick to come up, um, the little thing ain't working right. So there's a place that's down in the city and uh, that has those kind of things. So um, he's looking in that today. I think that's what he's, he said earlier. So I think that's one of the things that he's doing. So we're getting prepared for that. And um, get ready, people, is all I got to say. I think that's all I'm going to say, too. Anyway, because I ain't trying to worry nobody. But if y'all been looking at the news and keeping up with stuff, you know where I'm coming from. You sure do. Okay, let's see what else. In my day. So I got my shower done. Don't I look better? Can, I smell better too, don't I? I think so. Anyway, and uh, I got the laundry going. The beans are on cooking. And, oh, I've got a vacuum. I, I color in them adult colored books. I do. And I use some of the, what's it called, the gel pens. I like those, but I also use the colored pencils. And so, here recently, I noticed most of my colored pencils were, like, getting really low, dull. So, last night, I spent um, a little pencil sharpener trying to sharpen all the pencils. It took me a while. But some of those little things, shavings, came out, and it came out and stuck to my britches. And it's all in front of where I sit. So I got to get the vacuum out today and vacuum that up. Oh, and oh, and oh. Um, you remember that old green carpet that, um, that I told you I said I wanted replaced? Have I showed you already? Well, anyway. We got another rug. We sure did. And I got one and, and part of it went back there where well, I had it measured and cut for back there in the den as well. But yeah, let me show you. I, if I hadn't already, remember it was that green bra braided rug? Okay, now look. See? Well, that's, that's Sammy's bed. He's in his bed. But that's the rug we got. Don't that look better? And then I had uh, the runner to match it coming in. You know, because Mr. Speak, you know what I mean. And, um, which, and also, it matches the little runner that's going down my hall, going into the den. And here in the dining room, it matches. So everything's kind of coming together. I'm so glad to get rid of that green braided rug. If y'all got a braided rug, they're beautiful. They really are. But it started kind of coming apart and kind of the material was kind of... I don't know how to explain it. It was a mess and it looked ugly. And I told Mr. I said... I'm going to go ahead and get that. So I did. So I want to show that to you. And um, I'm happy about that. Let's see what else. Oh, let me take you all from the, down from the grandstands. You remember that told you, sorry, the puzzle um, that was going to put together. Remember I got three puzzles? Well, I got one put together when well, my friend was here. Yeah, she's already gone. She's gone back to her big city. So, but this is it. Let me turn turn around. Let me get that. 
this is the one and I just put it here because she goes why don't you frame that I've never been one to frame uh, puzzles but I thought that was a pretty picture and maybe do a couple of them maybe put them up on that wall or something uh, that puzzle there's the picture of it there of course it's better looking at it right here I'm sorry are y'all getting y'all dizzy anyway so we got that done and we'll start working on the other a puzzle um what else oh well here's the other one but um uh here here it is let me show you the picture of it can y'all see it's kind of like the other one just because it's colorful and this is kind of you know where we're at right now so I'll be working on that on my downtime. Um, it's messy in here, as you see. I got to get stuff. Well, that's because we moved the table, the round table here, and so that ball was up under it. And then I had that sitting over here where I sit when I study and study the word and stuff. But oh, here's the other rug I was going to show you. See, I got it so I could slide up under the chairs, but the, because of the chairs. I had the little fuzzy things that go up under the legs, but the fuzzy things were coming off and wanted to scratch my carpet, uh, not carpet, my floor. So I went ahead and measured this, you know, to put the, the chairs on and to keep that from happening. So that's some of the um, things that we've done. Uh, oh, I, I was going to tell you, not that this really matters, but. I'm going to go over here and say, oh, I said I was going to get some tea done or something to drink. I ain't done it yet. Let me stick you back up here. Um, got to take my medicine. I got a message from somebody. You'll know if you watch it again and said, tell Sheila. Where's the refrigerator? There it is. Tell Sheila that I don't comment, but I watch her. And she gets me motivated. I ain't doing this to try to get you motivated so you get up and clean up and then be out of breath and then say, man, I ain't watching that lady anymore because she puts me to shame. I ain't trying to do that. But I appreciate you watching. Anyhow. So I wanted to say, I'm over here. I got to get my glass. Thank you for those. Even though you don't comment, you know, you still watch me. And... I really appreciate that. I really, really do. I, I know, I know, I know. I always say this that I got to get more videos out, but something always comes up. Or, or you know, I'll do something like putting down that carpet, and then after so I said I should video that so I could bring you know all of my buddies and stuff in with me, and we all put the carpet down together. This is mine. Anyway, let me get my, I hope there's some tea. Yay, there's tea, guys. Yay. My washing machine is sounding weird. It's, it's not sound like it's going <laughs> I hope it ain't nothing down there in it and I missed it. Like a screw or something with Mr. Pockets. Because remember, I just threw the blue jeans in and I didn't check. But I got to have a straw. I always have to have a straw. Oh, now that I'm over here, I'm going to show you guys something else. Y'all think, some people go, well, Sheila, don't you make mistakes? Because I'm always picking on Mr. Not very often. But I'm going to show you something. It gets on my nerves with this. See if it happens at your house. Now, come on. I know a lot of y'all can relate. Okay. Here. Let me get Let me. I got to get a paper towel to, to give you the effect. Okay. So, you're looking over there now. And you go, okay, what is it over here? It's a coffee pot. Y'all see the coffee pot? Let me turn on, let me turn on the light. Well, when he feels the coffee Hold up. When he fills the coffee pot, he just lets water go all over the place. Water all up under there. So let me do this. 
Amen. It's back there too. But can y'all see that on the water? Well, Sheila, that ain't much. Well, yeah, you're right. You're right. That That isn't much at this go around. But a lot of times I put this doggone paper towel down. There we go. And it is water all over the place. Do y'all have that y'all's house? No, anyway. Well, I can't even throw, I can't even throw my trash in the trash can because he takes the trash out. Here I go. I'm on a roll, ain't I? And then he don't put, uh, uh, when you take, when y'all pull the trash bag out of the trash can and you set it to the side and you tie it up, do y'all reach down? I, we put our, um, the next trash bags we're going to put in the trash can, we put like four or five, I put seven for the whole week, and down at the bottom. So when you take it out, you just reach down there in the trash can and you open up a new bag. He never does that. And, and then when I want to go put trash in, I always got to put the bag in. That's like a job not completed, you know what I mean? So I'm just sticking, I, I'm not putting that trash bag in there. She love, I ain't doing it. Now when he wants to put some trash in there, he can go, well she didn't do it. Well I guess I'm going to have to. Well that's part of your job. I know what y'all think I'm mean, don't you? Okay, let me go here. And take my mean pills. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just, it's one of my pet peeves. All y'all got a pet peeve. You know it. Okay. So, today is, I don't know when y'all are watching. I keep putting y'all down. There. Today's Wednesday. So, I only got three pills in there. Usually, I have four, five, six. Because, like, I put a, a B vitamin B12 in there. I put a fish oil pill in there. I put a glucosamine pill in there for my knees and my arm. You know, I told you about my I have trouble with my arm. But I didn't when I filled it this time. Let's go around. I just put my necessity pills. And uh, it's only three. I know y'all know what would you take? Well, I don't take nothing. But Mm. That straw's got a hole in it, so all I'm doing is sucking air. Let me get another straw. Woo! Yep, and the pills are still stuck in my throat. Or my mouth. Mmm, 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 mmm. I should have tested that before I put my pills in my mouth. <sighs> okay. What was I saying? Do y'all hear that with the washing machine? It ain't sounding quite right. I hope, I hope it's gonna be all right. I just wanna stick my hand all down in that water. Let's just, let's pray, cross your fingers, it's gonna be okay. Well, anyway, so yeah, this is a day with Sheila. Um, I really need to take my car down to the city and have my oil change. It's like overdue. It's not that much overdue because <clears throat> I don't drive it that much, <laughs> but that needs to be done. Whether I feel like it today or not, I just don't know. It's just one of those kind of lazy days for me. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to color. I really need to go down to the shop and... Um, work on some things I don't know I'm just not having a really a creative mind today so I'm not sure plus the fact I know I won't go down there now I'm supposed to get up to 43 but right now it's still in the 20s and it's cold and even though I have a little heater there I have to sit right at it and then my fingers you know uh, like on my legs and stuff but then my fingers get cold and they get stiff and I can't hardly move them so I don't know when I'm gonna get back down there and I don't know if I'm going to keep my uh, booth or not because, guys, the way the economy is now, I've said this before, and I know I brought this, it's kind of like my hair thing I'm always bringing up. But I, I don't know. Uh, you know, if you had to choose, like I said before, between a gallon of milk and a little stuffed bunny rabbit, which, which one you will pick? And especially with money being tight, and now we're hearing about this bank stuff, I pray nothing more happens but we just don't know 
I, I don't know. It does concern me, however. So, like I said, that's why we're kind of stocking up on things and just kind of being prepared if something crazy happens out there. Um, the sun is shining today, uh, which is because it's been kind of cloudy. In fact, yesterday we had snow flurries. For two days we had snow flurries. And, um, but we, uh, we went to Aldi yesterday, even in the snow flurries, because I kind of wanted to get it and get it over with. Now, are y'all like that? It's like, once you make your mind up on something, you want to do it then. I'm like that. It's like, I might think about it a couple of days, but when I'm ready, I'm ready to go now. Or when you're ready to do something, ready to do it now. You know, because I've given it thought. So now that I'm set with what I want to do, now I want to take care of it then. Anyhow. But I want you to bring you in on my day. I'm going to probably have some clips of when I went to Texas uh, with my son for a week. Um, just some different things uh, when uh, my friend was here. It was just a small clip. I didn't record a lot when she was here just due to the fact that we were talking and it was like catch up time and it wasn't something to be recorded. It was just something, you know, heartfelt things, things that are going on in each of our lives. It's good to have a friend that you can talk to, you know, about things. I have put on the blah, 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 talk of the town, whatever the, the town is, talk of the town, um, about having a little hen party. And I really need to get on that. I've put it up there twice. and I.